City Committee and organizing members, we would like to welcome once again for this function. And now I will have the honor and privilege to welcome uh, former Deputy Mayor and Councillor Sarah Katz to this uh, to address the gathering. And uh, she is uh, Deputy Mayor for Mary Beyond City Council and Manager of Australian Aid and Parliament Projects. Please feel free to have uh, your stage. Thank you. Good afternoon all. Um, firstly, I would like to begin by acknowledging that we meet today on the traditional lands of the Kulin Nation and offer our respects to the traditional elders of these lands and through them to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples past and present. It's wonderful to be here. Uh, absolutely delighted. I will um, begin by acknowledging the many special guests that we do have here. Of course, uh, the Honourable Koshalia Vagala, Welcome. Uh, Josh, councillor, actually I will, Megan Bridger Darling is actually here representing Maribyrnong City Council. She's uh, not so new councillor now, it's been a while, but she actually represents the area uh, where the cultural centre is here today, uh, which is why it was very important to get her along. So please introduce yourselves if you are from the city of Maribyrnong and from Stony Creek Ward to Megan, uh, to the Honourable Josh Gilligan. <laughs> Uh, a friend from Neighbours. We're all very friendly councillors out in the West. Very proud to be representing the West. Hello. Uh, and also we have uh, our very special guest, uh, MP Muhammad Bashir. Welcome to the city of Maribyrnong, and it's an honour to have you here. And Dr. Suleiman Melpathor. I hope I got that right. And um, I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank Ash Ahmed and Salim. I think it was Tuesday that Salim had reached out to me to say that today was happening. Um, we had tried to organise to attend an event some years ago, so we finally got around to making it happen. Um, and also uh, to uh, the women who have prepared the lunch. I had two plates of biryani. I didn't have breakfast so that I could have the two plates because it's my favourite food. Um, the, the Indian community uh, have a special place in my heart and it was actually uh, only the month before the floods in Kerala that I was in uh, Mumbai and Pune visiting friends. Um, so I, I would like to applaud the initiative and it is a great honour to be here for the inauguration. I've learned a little bit more this morning about the aspirations of the cultural centre and I think just by supporting uh, the community here, you're doing great work, but to hear of your ambitions to help the underprivileged overseas is something that you should all be applauded on because it would take a whole community to do this. Um, we know that with almost 68 to 70 million people displaced around the world, um, at a precedent, at a scale that we've never seen before, whether it be through conflict or famine or natural disasters and extreme weather events, the need has never been greater to help uh, those who are, are less fortunate. So I applaud the ambition. I know it's something, certainly, I work very closely with the Rohingya and the Syrian uh, refugee responses. I'll actually be heading back to Bangladesh in January leading a delegation of federal members of parliament uh, to look at what more Australia can be doing uh, to respond to the Rohingya refugee crisis. So it's certainly something um, that I'm very passionate about and uh, I'm very honoured to be here today. So I commend you on your inauguration and wish you all the very best. Uh, for your future uh, activities and fundraising and also your cultural celebrations. It's always lovely to come together and I look forward to celebrating with you again in the future. Um, please consider me a friend uh, of, of your cultural centre and, um, and I wish you all the best in your efforts. So thank you very much for having me along. It's a great honour uh, and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. 